You're ready to book your princess cruise, but you're not quite sure which stateroom to choose. From panoramic views to secluded retreats, let's find your dream stateroom together. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you the cabin that I book the most as a travel agent. First, let's take a look at the most affordable option on your princess cruise, and that is your interior or inside cabin. These staterooms have two twin beds that convert into a queen size bed. These beds are amazing. They are so ridiculously comfortable. Select cabins also offer third and fourth berths, which are like pull down beds from the side of the walls or a pull out couch. All rooms have a refrigerator, a flat panel TV, a bathroom with a shower, spacious closet, a desk with a chair, hair dryer, bathroom amenities, and a digital security safe. These staterooms are quite small. And so if you have more than two people in it, it can get quite cozy. We cruise with me and my brother and my daughter, and we haven't had any issues, but she is quite small right now. Now there is no window in this, and that's my preference is to have no window in a cruise, especially if we are traveling somewhere that is north, like Alaska, or we're heading to Norway this summer. But for some people, they want a window, and that's where ocean view cabins come in. With these rooms, you either get a picture window or a porthole that brings in some natural light. The new sphere class ships like the Sun and the Star offer a premium ocean view cabin and they basically have a bigger window to look out of. Some Royal class ships, the Discovery, the Enchanted, and the Sky offer a deluxe slash premium stateroom that is ocean view that has floor to ceiling windows instead, often slanted in the front of the ship, and they offer beautiful views of the ocean. Standard balconies are available on all princess ships other than the new Sphere class, so not on the sun, not on the star, but they have a nice little outdoor area for you to sit with a table and chairs. The Sphere class and the Royal class offer a deluxe balcony, so these balconies are a bit larger as well as a bed that turns into a sofa bed. These are available on the Royal class ships of Discovery, Enchanted, Sky, Majestic, Regal, and Royal, as well as the Sphere class ships of Star and Sun. Luxurious mini suites are available on all Princess cruise ships, and these have a substantially larger balcony and offer a lot of other perks. You receive a complimentary glass of bubbly. You have a separate sitting area with a sofa and two flat panel TVs. They're really great for families and groups that need a little bit of extra space. They also have the balcony with two to four chairs, a table, and an ottoman. These rooms also offer a bathtub and not just a shower. This is great for if you have kids because now you have the option to give them a bath instead of relying on the shower. My favorite part though is having that separate seating area with the sofa bed and the coffee table. If you find this video helpful and you want more information about Princess Cruises, hit that subscribe button because I post almost exclusively about Princess Cruises. Another great option for families is the two bedroom family suite. These are only available on the older Grand Class ships, but I love them. Basically, they're a mini suite connected to an inside cabin. They're available on the Caribbean, Crown, Diamond, Emerald, Grand, Ruby, and Sapphire ships. Each suite sleeps up to eight people. The Diamond and the Sapphire, though, can only sleep up to six people. This room includes the special suite-only benefits, as well as having two bathrooms and two bedrooms connected by a large living room. New for the Sphere Class, so the Sun and the Star, are the Cabana Mini Suites. These are gorgeous. I love these staterooms. They feature a balcony and a private cabana with some outdoor furniture. You can unwind inside with a separate sitting area with a sofa. There's a door that will close it off so you can have just sitting on the couch or you can have it wide open to let the fresh air come in. You had access to the cabana deck where there's some other loungers and your own little private area. It's fantastic. If I had the money, this is where I'd be sailing personally. The reserve collection is a group of mini suites that have a little bit of extra luxuriousness to the mini suite. They are offered on all classes of ships with the exception of the sphere class. The sun and the star, they only offer this for the cabana mini suites, not the regular mini suites. These staterooms are the best located mini suites and they also have great amenities that are found in all the mini suites, but also having extra premium dining benefits. Every night you can enjoy some reserved dining in an exclusive dining area that's only for those staying in the reserved collection. There's no wait, there's extra dining options, there's dedicated staff, it's just above and beyond what you would normally get in a main dining room. You also get priority embarkation and disembarkation, and you get a complimentary one-time wine setup and a lot more. Standard suites are available on all Princess cruise ships, except for the Sphere class. They got their own thing going on over there. These rooms offer more living space, a sofa bed, separate living areas, as well as the perks like priority embarkation and disembarkation and a complimentary minibar setup. They offer luxurious balcony furniture. And some of the biggest perks I think are including complimentary laundry and professional dry cleaning services, complimentary specialty dining dinner on embarkation evenings, priority specialty dining and shore excursion reservations, priority disembarkation at tender ports, plus having free daily bottled water. Like I said, the Sphere class ships are doing their own little thing with suites. They have these signature collection suites on the Sun and the Star. These offer deluxe accommodations like the signature penthouse suite with a balcony. It includes all the amenities of the signature collection. 
which means they have the signature restaurant, the signature lounge, the signature sun deck, which is the private area on the sanctuary. You have way more living space, a separate seating area with a sofa, so many amenities, plus stuff like the priority embarkation and disembarkation and that complimentary minibar setup. If you really want to go all out, check out the Sky Suites on the Discovery, Enchanted, and of course the Sky. These rooms are gigantic. Not only do you get amazing amenities, but you have actually have a suite experience manager to deliver you your every desire. They're literally your butler. It's great. Each suite can sleep up to five guests and you get a 270 degree panoramic view throughout your voyage. You get an insanely luxurious furnished balcony that is over a thousand square feet. A thousand square feet, it's the largest in the fleet. It's so big that you can even host your own celebrations or catered events on it. This suite includes things like pre-cruise shoreside concierge service, seamless curb to suite experience, like I said, your suite experience manager, reserved princess theater seating, complimentary access to the enclave, which is the spa. Plus, when you go to Princess Key, you get your own bungalow. You get premium champagne when you arrive, plus two full bottle bar setups. You get complimentary access to the Princess Fine Wine Tasting, private shopping concierge, private movie under the stars balcony viewing. For the Discovery Stargazing at Sea program, you get your own deluxe telescope to use. You get complimentary ultimate balcony breakfast and dinner. Your luxury balcony furniture includes a dining table for four, a large day bed, loungers, exterior bar with a mini fridge, and a TV at the private patio. You have three floor to ceiling sliding glass doors, a master bedroom with princess luxury bed, plus your own private master bathroom with a bathtub instead of just a shower, but you also still get a separate rain shower. Of course, you get a spacious closet with your own vanity and desk in the master bedroom. Your second bedroom has a queen or converts into two twins, plus a lounge chair and an ottoman. You still get your spacious closet and your vanity and your desk in the other bedroom as well. The second bathroom includes a shower. You get luxurious bathroom and bedroom linens and upgraded bathrobes and slippers. And if you love coffee, you're in luck because you also get an espresso machine. The highest level of suites that Princess currently offers is the Signature Sky Suites. These are exclusive to the Sphere class ships of the Sun and the Star. Basically, it's the Sky Suite, but with the Signature Collection benefits. This means you still get your gigantic stateroom with your two bathrooms, two bedrooms, full bathtub, separate shower, living room, all that amazing stuff, but you also get the signature restaurant access, the signature lounge, and that private signature area of the sanctuary. So there you have all the current options available on Princess Cruise for your staterooms. For my clients, the most booked one is a balcony. And I think that's because it is a budget-friendly option that allows you to have a little bit more of a luxurious feel. Especially if you're cruising to places like Alaska or the Panama Canal, you want to have those beautiful, gorgeous views right out your stateroom. For us personally, we choose inside cabins. I can do a whole video on it if you want, but mostly it comes down to safety and comfort. For my daughter, having a balcony is not safe. She has special needs and loves the ocean, and she would not hesitate to climb over the balcony to try to swim in the ocean. Not safe. So we stick to interior where we know we can keep her safe, but I would love to try out those cabana rooms sometime because I think they are fantastic looking. Let me know in the comments below where you are sailing to next on what ship and in what stateroom. And in the meantime, go check out this video here because YouTube thinks you're gonna like it.